Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me on Sealed for Good. Today I'm talking about swimming pools and how to select the best waterproofing practices for swimming pools. Now, coming up in 2020, I'm going to actually have an episode with Ian Middleton, who I met over in WA last month, and he is a pool expert and also a mosaic tile expert, and we're going to have a great show in line with Sealed for Good next year on that one. But while we're talking about swimming pools now, getting the right swimming pool practice is so important with waterproofing. Now, most pools are made of concrete and they're in situ, they've been poured. That's an easier one. You still need to understand that concrete should be waterproofed, but understand the condition of the concrete, how porous it is, the surface condition, is it drummy, and do that, that tap test. Just ensure that you've got a substrate that is fit for purpose. If you've got a block wall swimming pool, built like a water tank, we don't see many of those, but if they have been constructed that way, then that's going to need a different preparation with a waterproof render first, like our 11Y over the top of it with our seabed, and that will prepare the substrate before you go and waterproof and then you use our system. But the most important thing is the practice of waterproofing. Like anything that's immersed, when you are putting a membrane inside that area, it's acting as a liner. So you don't finish the membrane at the top edge of the pool. You must bring that membrane outside the top of the pool and continue it under the areas that are going to be under the coping tiles or the surrounding deck areas if that is the case. But you really want to create that tank area so it's completely sealed so you ensure you've got no water getting under the edge of the membrane seal. This is where I see a lot of immersed areas like pools go wrong because we think we've just waterproofed the internal pool area and it hasn't been extended beyond the area it needs to go to and that's an important one to ensure that you eliminate that risk. Now things like water features we see sometimes a continuation of a water feature or a feature wall that is part of a pool and again you need to extend that membrane up beyond that water feature and integrate it as part of the waterproof system of the pool area because there's a lot of force of water that runs or cascades down those water features and that can also get underneath that membrane and then compromise your pool membrane and then the finish which is often tiles. Which brings me to my final point about the finish. Before you go and waterproof any substrate in a pool, know what that finish is going to be. If the tiler's doing the waterproofing, it's a simple one because he's obviously doing, he's preparing it for his tiling, but what if it's going to have a marble sheen finish? The sort of render system you're going to use over that, or it might have an epoxy pool paint or a pool paint, a chlorinated rubber, we don't see it too often these days, but it still is out there, or even a vinyl lining. What are you going to do to the pool membrane to ensure that you prepare it to enable those finishes to be applied to it? Because chlorinated rubber and epoxy pool paints can't go directly over the pool membrane. So you need a, a render, a waterproof render like our Gripset 11Y over the top of the membrane, which would normally be our C1P or our Gripset 2P. And then they are able to take those finishes. So in, ensuring you understand the finish is just as important as understanding what membrane you're using. And that gives you good waterproofing practices to ensure you've got a successful waterproof pool when you complete the job. If you've got any questions or you want specs on swimming pools, because our experience in pool areas is very, very long in history. We've done them in large hotel situations where we've got them suspended or ground floor. Get hold of our tech services. We can give you the specs on those or guide you on any job you're doing, whether it's an existing pool or a new one. Until next time on Silver Good, I'll see you then.